Yo, look at these robots. So this is figure and they came out with a new update. Uh, this guy just takes some groceries out. The robots have never seen the groceries. Uh, he just says like, work together to put them away. <laughs> so they shuffle up. They don't say anything this time. I think if they said something, the demo would be a lot cooler. Um, I don't know how this robot noticed this black drawer and the black void here. I don't know how he could see any contrast there. Ah, uh, yeah. Then they, like, very slowly put the groceries away. But, you know, it's pretty amazing. Uh, they do a little, like, handoff here and there. Let's see. Here you go. Some cheese. Shredded cheese. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I don't know why they look at each other's faces, acknowledging each other. Mm, put that there. He's taking a look. What else we got here? It's, it's interesting how they go back to this kind of default position. You notice when they put something away... Like this guy, he'll put this away. Let's see what he does with his hands. Kind of brings him up. Yeah, like look at that. He kind of went back to this default location and then starts watching the other dude drop. <laughs> drop the ketchup. Get the apple. Dude, close the fridge. All the cold air is, is out already. This is cool, the little handoff here. Okay, close the fridge. Yeah, done. There we are. Now it's time to put you away in, a, in your grave as we kill you. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so this is their report on it. Helix, a vision language action model for generalist humanoid control. This is cool. This is the architecture. So this is the camera input. And they have a slow acting system two and a fast acting system one. System two is like for planning. That that takes in the, the image at seven to nine hertz. Uh, and it also takes in the robot state, joint angles and finger position. And importantly, it takes in the, the command. Pick up the butter and hand it over to the robot on your left. So system two gets all this information and is slowly planning this at seven to nine hertz. Seven to nine times per second is pretty pretty high still. And it sends that over to system one, which also received the image and the um, joint angle and, pos and finger positions. But this works at 200 hertz, and that outputs the, the joint angles, the control of the upper body of the robot. So yeah, this is a nice little uh, trade-off because system two, this is slower uh, to run you know, this this requires like the world understanding and everything. And then this is more of like uh, fast control. Well, it's cool that both of these are running on uh, their own GPUs. So each robot has two GPUs in it, one for system two and one for system one. And the uh, system two, the slow one, is an onboard internet pre-trained VLM for scene understanding and language comprehension. And then system one, a fast reactive visual motor policy that translates the latent semantic representations produced by system two into precise continuous robot actions at 200 Hertz. So you can do the think slow and think fast. The data, we collect a high quality multi-robot multi-operator data set of diverse teleoperated behaviors 500 hours in total to generate natural language conditioned training pairs we use an auto labeling vlm to generate hindsight instructions and that's interesting um, it will process video clips from the robot cameras and then it will say what instruction would you have given the robot to get the action scene in this video and then that's how they get their uh, training pairs. It's cool that the System 2 is open source, open weight VLM. 
And I, I, I tried to find which model it was um, by asking ChatGPT. And it said that they haven't released what it was, but it could be open VLA because this one is 7 billion parameters, Llama 2 7B. Uh, and this is for like a bunch of robot manipulation tasks. So it's interesting. This looks like it's, you know, trained with a bunch of different kinds of robots, or at least the color is different on the robots. Um, but, you know, maybe this Llama 2 7B, 7B learns, uh, that's the language model backbone that predicts tokenized output actions. It takes in an input image and text, right? And that goes in there just like here, take, this takes in an input image and text. But here it also takes in joint angles and finger positions, which you would think that this one would as well. <laughs> I should probably read this uh, paper before I make a YouTube video about it, but <laughs> I'm trying to just make videos very quickly. So, you know, I, I just, uh, this is my theory that they use this open VLA for their uh, model. But yeah, I'd have to read a little bit more on it because this is not taking in the robot state right to make the predictions system one is only 80 million parameters which is quite small cross attention encoder decoder transformer handles low level control fully convolutional multi-scale vision backbone for visual processing initialized from pre-training done entirely in simulation while system one receives the same images and state inputs as System two, it processes them at a higher frequency to enable more responsive closed loop control. Here they are picking up a bunch of different stuff. Pick up a bunch of different objects. The dancing cactus, classic. One set of neural network weights, seven billion for system two, 80 million for system one. Pretty cool. Uh, the last thing I guess they mentioned was interesting was like when the robot uh, looks at something, it can it can handle. See how it's moving the the face as it's as it's manipulating the object. That 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 was traditionally a difficult uh, thing because you can imagine the video footage is changing as it moves the face, so you get this feedback loop which could kind of go haywire. Uh, but this model uh, handles that nicely. So anyways, I think this is pretty sick. I'm glad to see uh, people just using full, fully end to end neural networks for uh, robotic tasks. I think that's the way to go. Uh, just mix in that natural language understanding um, with this visual uh, VLA vision language action model and then a little bit of a, a fast reactive control from system one and you got general purpose robots i'd love to see it working uh for walking as well you know full body control instead of just upper body control i'd love to see the robots producing text uh, or speech you know um, I would love to see a command given to one robot which has to then go and tell a different robot in, in another room you know okay somebody told me we have to do this and then the two robots uh, collaborate right and, and get the job done pretty fun pretty exciting stuff uh, that's just a quick uh, update on this helix AI from figure. Thanks for watching.